Hello, class 6. In today's video, we are going to learn about division in algebra. So first, we are going to start with the division of monomial by a monomial. Monomial means a single term being divided by another single term. So first example I am going to take is 45AB getting divided by 5B. So first thing that we are going to do is write them in fraction form. So 45AB by 5B. So here you can see that 5, the new, the, the numbers only, 5 can cancel 45 9 times and B can cancel B 1 time. So from here in the, uh, in the numbers, numeral coefficient 9 will be left out and here A will be left out. So you will get 9a as your answer okay so first whenever you get this kind of uh, monomial divided by monomial just simply write it down as a fraction form then we will cancel it down okay so this is the simplified answer 9a next similar type of question 20x to the power 5 divided by 4x square so first thing that we are going to do is write them as a fraction form so 20x to the power 5 and denominator 4x squared. So <clears throat> let's try to understand it in a better way. x to the power 5 can be written as 20 into x into x into x into x into x. And 4x squared can be written as 4 into x into x. Now here 4 can divide 20 five times okay and two of the x's down there in the denominator can cancel two of the x's on the numerator and thus the left out x's on top on the numerator will be x x x that means x into x into x that will give us x to the power 3 okay so 4 will divide 25 times and the left out is x to the power 3 if you see properly the relation between 5, 2 and 3, you will understand that 5 minus 2, when you subtract 5 and 2, you will get 3. Alright. So, in general, we can have this idea that if there is any number to the power m, a to the power m, being divided by same number base a with different power n, then if the bases are same, then we can write the same base and we can subtract the power. For example, over here, x, x to the power 5 and x to the power 2, 5 minus 2 gives us x to the power 3. Just forget about 5 for the time being, the numeral coefficient. Just look at the variables. x to the power 5 and x to the power 2 is equal to x to the power 5 minus 2, which is equal to x to the power 3. Alright. So, <laughs> using this, you know, uh, Using this knowledge, uh, let's move on to exercise 19D. So this is the method that we are going to follow. So exercise 19D, the first question, question number 1, I'm not going to do the first question of question number 1. I'm going to, going to do question number 6. So look at the question. 14A cubed, B cubed, divided by 2A squared. So 14A cubed, uh, B cubed, divided by 2A squared can be written as the fraction form. So we write it this way. Now, 2 will cancel 14 7 times. A can cancel A cubed, A squared times and there is nothing to be uh, which can divide B cubed. So B cubed remains as it is. So the answer that you get is 2 will divide 14 7 times. A, will, A squared will divide A cubed A times and b cubed so answer is 7 a b cubed all right so let's move on to question number two now simplify i am again doing question number seven which looks a little bit difficult okay it looks difficult but it's not that difficult trust me okay first thing that we are going to do over here is write them in the fraction form so you'll get minus 64 x to the power 4 y cubed z divided by 4x cubed y square z. So 4 can divide 64 how many times? 
16 times x cube will divide x to the power 4 how many times just subtract the power 4 minus 3 is 1 so you will get x y cube can cancel sorry y cube and y square when you divide you will get 3 minus 2 1 that is y and z and z both z's will be cancelled that will be z to the power 1 minus z to the z, z to the power 1 minus 1 over here that will give you 0 okay so the numeral coefficient will be 4 4 minus 16 times there is a minus sign so minus sign comes over here 4 16 times 64 x to the power 4 and x to x to the power 3 1 x is left out y cube and y squared y is left out and z z cancel so minus 16 x y is your answer all right next we move on to question number three division again so over here minus 3m by 4 there is a fraction getting divided by a monomial remember the first term is also a fraction but it's a monomial okay so how we are going to do a fraction being divided by a simple algebraic monomial term so over here minus 3m by 4 divided by 2m so we can write them as minus 3m by 4 multiplied by the reciprocal of 2m that is 1 upon 2m where m and m can be cancelled so you'll get minus 3 in the numerator all right and down there 4 times 2 gives us 8 so minus 3 by 8 is your answer question number 9 of same question number 3 is 64x squared y squared by z squared has to be divided by 8xy by z so write them as the uh, proper mathematical order okay now this division sign gets converted into multiplication sign and thus the fraction at the back gets reciprocal so 8xy by z becomes z by 8xy so over here look properly 8 can cancel 64 8 times okay so have a look 8 times 8 is 64 so 8 x squared and x okay cancels 1 x is left out y squared and y cancels and 1 y is left out and z and z square z square being the higher value higher order that is the higher power being in the denominator so z left out will be in the denominator so 8xy by z becomes your answer all right now with this we come to an end of the video so let's look at the assignment that you are going to do exercise 19d page number 180 question number 1 2 and 3 thank you